It was a little disappointing because we never met Hitch. I mean, they guarded him. Uh, he was rather a private man. Years later, uh, Dick and I had a three-hour lunch with him, and it was Sid Scheinberg, who was then the president of Universal. Um, we never met Hitch. We dealt with a wonderful producer b uh, by the name of Norman Lloyd, wonderful man, very talented, very talented director, uh, very humorous. Uh, and we dealt a little bit with um, Joan Harrison, who was the co-producer. She was a very elegant woman uh, who had written some screenplays uh, for Hitchcock. She was married to a very, very good writer whose books I liked, Eric Ambler, who wrote the, wrote the spy novels. And um, we dealt more with Norman, and he was wonderful to work with. But the, the, as I said, the disappointing factor was we never met Hitch at that point. We, we learned later in, in Norman Lord's uh, autobiography that uh, our play, Prescription Murder, the stage play, had been submitted to Hitchcock and he had turned it down. And uh, Lloyd said, you know, I didn't particularly care for it myself, but what was I to know? And uh, it was funny because the first season of Columbo, which Dick and I produced all the hour and a half shows, Norman Lloyd was one of the directors. So that, that played out rather ironically, I thought. We had been writing short stories in Hitchcock's magazine, and uh, we adapted some of them. And then they were successful, so then they gave us other books to adapt. And we did like I don't know, nine or ten of them, I think, all together. We had some favorites. There was a wonderful one uh, uh, that James Mason and Angie Dickinson did. We were big fans of James Mason. In fact, we went down on the set uh, when he was uh, performing with, uh, with Angie. And uh, we were very impressed, you know, you know, he was in our show. But the show was unusual in that the hero is out to uh, save the life of this woman, the whole show he thinks is going to be murdered. And he gets there a minute too late, and there's a gunshot. And you know, he failed. Now, you could never do that at that time because of standards and practices, which is really censorship, you know, the Department of All the Networks. They called it standards and practices. That was a euphemism. And Hitchcock could get away with things like that, where the hero fails, woman's murdered. But at the end of the show, Hitchcock would always say, well, you know, he was caught, the police moved in, and he didn't get away with it. Um, but it was still rather subversive, and he knew that Hitch um, found that quite humorous.